When you get a new Mac, a setup assistant helps you set up your internet connection, mail accounts, and basic settings, so you can get started using your Mac right away. This video will give you a quick overview of the basics. It all starts on the desktop. Think of the desktop on your Mac just like an actual desktop, where you keep everything you need to get things done. At the bottom of your desktop is the dock, where you have quick access to applications and files. To open something, just click on it. This is the icon for the Finder, which shows you all your files and can help you find anything on your Mac. Next is Dashboard, with cool widgets like a calculator, yellow pages, stock quotes, weather, and movie times. Of course, you can add many more widgets for your own interests. Then there's Mail, the Safari web browser, iChat for text and video chat, Address Book, iCal, Preview for looking at JPEGs and PDFs, iTunes, Photo Booth, which lets you take fun photos and record yourself using the built-in iSight camera, iPhoto to store all of your digital pictures, iMovie, GarageBand for creating music, Time Machine for backing up and finding old files, and System Preferences. To the right of this line, you'll find Stacks. A stack is a folder of commonly used items that you can access instantly from the dock. Your Mac comes with three built-in stacks, one for applications, one for documents, and one for downloads. When you download something from the internet, like a PDF, it automatically goes into the Downloads stack. Click a stack to see what's in it, and then just click on anything that you want to open. Along the top is the menu bar. It changes to match any application that you're using. Click on any item and you'll see a list of commands. You'll also find status menus on the right end of the menu bar for things like sound, date and time, Wi-Fi connection, and your online chat status. Let's take a closer look at the Finder. It's how you access everything that you want to do on your Mac. You can open a Finder window by clicking on the icon in the dock. The sidebar in a Finder window helps you navigate. Just click on an icon to see the files and folders inside. You can choose how you view Finder items by icon view, list view, column view, or even cover flow. To get a closer look at a file, use Quick Look. Just tap the spacebar and Quick Look will instantly show the contents of your file without even opening an application. In the Finder, you can easily create new folders, rename folders, and keep all your folders organized exactly how you want them. Use Spotlight to search for anything on your Mac. Just type what you're looking for, and Spotlight will show you all of the matching files, including email messages, dates in iCal, and web pages that you've visited. And it can give you the dictionary definition of a word. Spotlight also does math equations without opening a calculator. Help on your Mac is just a click away with the extensive help menus that you'll find in every application. Just ask a question and find the answer fast. Plus, Apple's support website has online discussions, product manuals, and answers to many commonly asked questions. Apple Care Protection Plan is also available for all new Mac computers. It provides expert telephone technical support as well as global repair coverage. And if you prefer support in person, just go to any Apple store and talk to a genius. You can even schedule an appointment online. Just go to apple.com slash retail, locate your store, and book a time that works for you. When you're working on your Mac, you'll probably open lots of different files and applications. Exposé can help you cut through the clutter and find things on your desktop fast. Hit the F3 key on your keyboard to activate Exposé. It displays all of the open windows on your Mac, so you can quickly find the one you're looking for. Pressing Command plus the number 1 key arranges the windows alphabetically. And pressing Command plus the number 2 key sorts them by application name. 
Using Exposé from the dock lets you see the windows of a specific application. So to see all of the open Safari windows, just click and hold on the Safari icon. To see the open Pages windows, click and hold on its icon. Exposé displays the windows in a grid on the desktop. You can view a full-size preview of any window in the grid. Just hover over the thumbnail with the cursor and tap the spacebar. Customizing Exposé is simple. Just open System Preferences and select Exposé in Spaces. You can assign keystrokes or mouse clicks to display all windows as thumbnails, to view all windows in the application that you're currently using, and to show the desktop. You can also set up active screen corners to trigger Exposé functions just by moving your cursor to the corners of your screen. Taking advantage of all the great features of Exposé makes it easier than ever to stay organized on your Mac. The Finder is an application that helps you view, organize, manage, and find everything on your Mac. And it's always running, so you have instant access to disks and other devices that are plugged into the computer. To open a Finder window, just click on its icon in the dock. All Finder windows have a few things in common. On the left side is the sidebar. It gives you one-click access to commonly used items. The sidebar is divided into four sections. Devices, like hard drives, CDs and DVDs, and flash drives. Shared items, like other Macs, PCs, and servers on the network. Common places, your desktop, home folder, applications and documents and an area containing smart searches for recently created items, images, movies, and documents. Across the top of a Finder window are the View buttons. You can view the contents of any folder as a group of icons. You can make the icons larger or smaller by using the slider at the bottom right. You can also display items as a text list or in column view, which lets you navigate through folders and subfolders in an easy-to-follow path. Or there's CoverFlow, which lets you flip through documents like you flip through albums in iTunes, making it easy to spot the items that you're looking for. And if you want to quickly look at a document before opening it, just tap the spacebar. When you do, you'll see a preview of it, and you don't even have to open the application. If you have questions about the Finder, check the built-in help on your Mac by switching to the Finder, clicking the Help menu in the Finder's menu bar, and entering Finder in the search box.